What's going on, Giants fans? Welcome back to another episode of G Nation. And today I'm excited to talk to you about two linebackers, two edge rushers that we signed in the draft. <clears throat> Aziz Ojolari, with only 10 starts, had 35 quarterback pressures, 31 tackles, um, 12 and a half tackles for a loss, eight and a half sacks, four forced fumbles in just 10 starts. This guy is a premier edge rusher, outside linebacker. He's going to be an impact player, immediately difference maker in the team, in the locker room, on the field. The guy is a beast. He plays with tenacity, strength, ferocity, and he finds a way to the quarterback. Now, a little bit later on in the rounds, Ellison Smith, uh, this guy has a lot of the same traits as uh, <clears throat> OCU Manura type of body style. Now this guy has 64 tackles, 21 and a half tackles for loss, uh, 14 and a half sacks, 14 quarterback pressures, five force fumbles, two block kicks, and uh, in the 2019 season. So you're looking at two premier edge rushers. Now, Ellison Smith was about 230 and he put on 30 pounds. So he's now about 260. And, uh, but it wasn't just sitting around. He's been, uh, he declared for his draft and started working towards his pro day when his college uh, canceled their program due to COVID. So um, you're looking at uh, an immediate starter in Aziz Ojolari and probably a developmental player for a few weeks until he gets in the groove of things and a difference maker as well. So I am extremely excited about these two linebackers. This is gonna increase our defense immensely. If you think about it, what Joe Judge and Patrick Graham are doing, they're almost kind of trying to replicate the 86, 87, 88, 89 Giants type of defense. And kind of 2007, 2011 offense of the Giants. This, this is like a real hybridization of two different eras of New York Giants teams being married together. And I can't wait to see what the possibilities bring. I, I trust Joe Judge. I like the uh, Kadarius Tony pick. Um, we also signed uh, Heggie from the Florida Gators as an offensive lineman after the draft was over. And um, some other players as well. I'll get some more information on that and post another video about that here uh, in the following day or so. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about these linebackers. I am extremely pleased with the Aziz Ojolari pick. Trading back and getting him at 50 was a steal. That was a great deal. We still have more trades for next year. I think we end up with 11 trades for next year because we get a compensatory pick for Delvin Tomlinson, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to have 11 picks in 2022 with time to go and scout players, evaluate the players, have regular interactions with the players like we normally would do before the COVID era. So with all that information and intel that we'll be able to gather and scouting and doing all the real uh, necessary due diligence to know what we're getting and vetting players with 11 picks and two of them first round picks, let's not forget Chicago probably isn't going to have a breakout season with a rookie quarterback and, and the whole overhaul that they're doing there. So we're more than likely going to get a high pick, I would say, between 8th and 12th round, uh, 12th overall in the first round pick from Chicago for the trade that we made. So, I mean, I, I'm extremely pleased. Um, let's not forget we added Afadi Odenabo, Reggie Ragland, to a linebacker core that already had Blake Martinez, Tay Crowder, Carter Coughlin, uh, Lorenzo Carter and O'Shane Zimenez. So you have depth at linebacker in the secondary. 
you have depth with the two cornerbacks that we just drafted on top of Darnay Holmes, Julian Love, Adoree Jackson, James Bradbury. And then in the safety room, Jabril, Kyle, uh, Jabril Peppers, um, Logan Ryan, Xavier McKinney, and I forgot Sam Beal as well, who probably won't stick around. But, I mean, you got to be excited about this defense. This defense is going to be lights out. And as we all know, defense wins championships. Offense wins games. Defense wins championships. And I'm not knocking the offense because they did their thing in the offense. In the free agency, they got an A+. Plus. Kenny Galladay, John Ross for cheap, Kyle Rudolph. I mean, added to Evan Ingram, Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, a healthy Saquon Barkley. And if this offensive line has time to gel together with the regular offseason and preseason, we could be looking at a monster, fellas. Things are looking real good for the Giants. So until next time, G Nation, subscribe, share, like, maybe give me a comment. Let me know what you think about the draft and the picks and where your mind is. And maybe if you thought we should have went elsewhere with the picks, let me know in the comment section. Till next guy, guys.